The Suck Boy Su-30 Mki continues to dominate the skies in 2025 as one of the most formidable multi-role fighter aircraft in the Indian Air Force arsenal. Developed jointly by Russia's Sukhoi and India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, this fourth-generation, twin-engine air superiority fighter has evolved significantly since its induction, adapting to new age warfare and remaining highly relevant in the face of rapid technological advancement. As of 2025, the Su-30 MK has undergone several key upgrades to enhance its combat capabilities, avionics radar systems, and weapon integration. The aircraft now features improved radar systems, including the indigenous Yatam Asa radar. This radar dramatically improves the aircraft's target detection, tracking range, and electronic warfare capabilities, making it a powerful tool in both offensive and defensive air operations. Unlike the earlier passive electronically scanned array, the Yatam Asa offers better resistance to jamming, multi-target tracking, and lower maintenance. The Su-30 MK has always been known for its exceptional maneuverability, thanks to its thrust vectoring engines and canard design. Even in 2025, it remains unmatched in aerial agility, capable of performing complex aerial maneuvers like the Pugik F's Cobra and the Culbit. This gives Indian pilots a crucial edge in close combat dogfights. The upgraded AL-31 FP engines now come with enhanced thrust and efficiency, contributing to better fuel economy and range without compromising performance. One of the biggest enhancements is the integration of new generation air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. The Astra Mk-2 and Mk-3 Beyond Visual Range BVR, missiles have been successfully integrated, giving the Su-30 Mk lethal punch at extended ranges. These missiles can engage multiple targets simultaneously, with high accuracy and resistance to enemy countermeasures. On the ground attack front, the Brahmos A, a supersonic cruise missile, remains one of the aircraft's most potent weapons. The air-launched version of BrahMos allows for precision strikes on high-value targets deep within enemy territory while keeping the aircraft safely out of enemy air defense range. Electronic warfare and survivability have also seen a massive leap forward. The aircraft now features advanced electronic countermeasure pods, radar warning receivers, and tow decoys. These systems are critical in modern aerial combat, where detection and evasion play as crucial a role as firepower. Additionally, indigenous software-defined radios and data links enable real-time communication and network-centric warfare, linking Su-30 MKIs seamlessly with other area facets like the Tejas, Rafale, and ground-based command centers. The cockpit has also seen a modernization drive. New generation multifunction displays, touch controls, and helmet mounted sights allow pilots to engage threats more effectively and with reduced workload. The new avionics suite is compatible with AI assisted decision making tools, aiding pilots in high stress combat scenarios by prioritizing threats and suggesting optimal engagement tactics. In terms of strategic value, the Su-30 MK serves as the backbone of the Indian Air Force, making up nearly half of its fighter fleet. Its versatility allows it to conduct air dominance missions, precision ground attacks, maritime strike operations, and reconnaissance roles. With the ongoing modernization programs, the aircraft is expected to remain in service well into the 2040s. While newer fifth-generation aircraft are making headlines, the 2025 Su-30 MK proves that with continuous upgrades and smart integration of indigenous technologies, even a 4-plus-plus generation fighter can stand tall in the ever-evolving landscape of aerial warfare. For Indian defense planners, it's not just about buying new platforms, but about extracting the maximum value from proven ones like the Su-30 Mkia and in that regard, they've truly succeeded.